Yeah. Pointed that out. <laughs> hey, that's right. Well, they made it out, so. All We're set? good. All set. Okay, I'll call the meeting to order for the East Town and Planning and Zoning Commission <coughs> for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. Uh, could I have attendance, please? Curry Brownell. Here. James Curtin. Here. Richard Pettinelli. Here. Justin Anderson, absent. Bernard Gillis. Here. Ed Govins, absent. Louis Salakrup, absent. Susan Kinsman, absent. Deborah Lang, absent. Everybody last month. Yeah. Yeah. So we skipped the meeting, so they lost interest. Oh, it's, you know, summertime. Minutes of our, well. It's minutes of July 12th, and then. to the 26th? So because I went on vacation, I just got a chance to review them, so I'm going to hand out them to you now. And you can, yeah. No, because I was gone, I couldn't review them. Yeah, so we'll just table them to next meeting and then finally catch up. Hopefully. You can yeah, table everything or to send it out? To... Yeah. On the uh, July 12th one, I only had uh, on the second page of the regulation discussion, Cam Brown, second paragraph, I think that the, <clears throat> the last sentence, issues that continually came up, I should say, were density and setbacks. Yep. Was. Other than that, I, that's, that's it. Anyone else? No. No. Those? Uh, one from Halloran and Sage uh, for $74 for two phone calls discussing uh, an email response to cannabis questions. Good. Motion to pay the bills? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Good. Any acknowledgments? No. Okay. Regulations. Campgrounds. Where are we on that? So, the last time for the bidding, you asked me to, I think I handed out the four in there. Yeah. Okay. You asked me to separate campgrounds and recreational camps. Yep. So this one on the front page, I did that, separated it out. And I also separated it out on the second page at 15.4.1. 15 uh, the rest of it is the same. Recreational camps are permitted only in the resort district. So wait, what's the difference? Well, before I had folded it over so that recreational camps were also under consideration in <clears throat> residential districts because I just folded the language in and you guys said no, time out. Like, no, uh, but I guess we need a definition of recreation. Right. No, it was, it's been in there all along. Right, so what's a rec uh, for the mask? Oh, 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 oh. So recreational camp. Recreational camp shall, and it's in our own, these are our regulations, yeah. um, shall include the following activities when oh, undertaken. So yeah. Supervision and supportive services provided by paid staff members. Yeah. So day camp. Day camp. Yeah. Scout or camp. weekly. It could be weekly, too. Right, scout camp. Yeah. Or it could exactly. be big kids That's camp. It. So we've got several of them, right? Oh, well, the one that's disappeared, well, right? So, uh, so, so you have Camp Kamish. Yeah. Uh, well, now there's the uh, well, Shady Brook one. Well, Shady Brook is, is still in the process of trying to get approved for that through the state camp. You know, there's, there's a lot there that needs to be done. Yeah, they're they're sidestepping us. Like, huh? They're sidestepping us like uh, Camp Kamish did? Well, no. Actually, they've been very good about, you know, asking what they should be doing and I said you need a lot of work to do in there to satisfy the state's requirements so they've hired um, Smilus and Bennett and Roger Nemergut they're not looking to open this year I mean they were a camp so they're pre-existing but I but said you know have events there, but they have one. yeah they've got okay, you, so I went so by okay. there that's, that's so that was their family up there mowing the lawn <laughs> <laughs> they had family members up there, for God's sakes. It was, they were mowing the lawn, they were raking, they were cleaning, you know. That's that's fine. 
So the only one we have is the measure. What are we calling? Uh, uh, Cave Hill. Cave Hill is a resort. Resort still. Still, uh, yeah. Still, the only one left is that. Yeah. And what about like uh, my father's house and place like that? What my that father's house has been a retreat since 1995. Okay, that so that doesn't fall into these or no. Nope. No. Nope. What about park and rec at the that's not no. That's a municipal function though. Oh. You guys could do what you want. Yes. <laughs> so is there a separate definition for resort? Yes, we have a separate definition for resorts, so yeah. Separate from recreational camp yep. And yep. camping area. So we're specifically targeting camping units for Outside the resort zone. If you want. Campgrounds. Campgrounds? Yeah, not recreational. Which right. Is campgrounds. He's got it as camping unit. That's under the definition? That's definition. Oh, okay. I was looking, sorry, I was looking up here. <clears throat> yeah. Campgrounds for recreation. Now, do you use the word camping unit? Oh, you do. Well, we do when it comes to a number of them, yeah. Oh, okay. We have a record, we have a definition in here for campgrounds, too. So. So taking a quick look at this, 15.2.3, the campgrounds and recreational camps, 15.2.3 will not generate traffic volumes or traffic patterns which will create hazardous conditions within the town of East Haddam or which will be detrimental to the character and value of adjacent properties. Says who? That's you guys. That's why you hold public hearings and that's why you, and that regulation's been in there for decades just it as is a is. subjective thing and certainly neighbors will all disagree on what that might be yeah more than two I mean you think rates. about it you held that you had that same public hearing for for getaway yeah. and you know those things you know were discussed but this have to make I remember that, yeah. getaway did a traffic study they didn't do a study no they're on a state highway so we didn't think that was going there to was be an existing conversion too yeah yeah I mean, and their density, even though they use them a lot more land, their their density is pretty low. Yeah, there, and even so, I part of the thing I've got for a handout is the state of Connecticut did make them move the driveway over. Oh, they did. They move it over. They, they just got approval for it. Yeah. How much far? Is it going to be? Mm. It's like a hundred feet. Oh, yeah. Fun. Take a look. Wow. Towards yeah. Mudis? I didn't know that was... Towards Mudis, yes. Really? Yeah. Sightline? Sightline. Yeah, they wanted... Because the posted speed and the actual speed was... Well, the actual speed's a lot greater. Even on that corner, and they whip around, and... So they're going to keep the existing entrance for utility, you know, and things, but they're going to create an entrance for the... Res oh, it's a separate entrance. Yep. Another entrance. Yep. They're keeping the other one, but... Yep. Yep. What's the, why, the, why keep both of them then? If uh, the that's, move it? I don't know. The state was okay with it as being a delivery entrance, but not a, you know, this is something that the, you know, the engineering firm Bowler and the state yeah, have been working work on. Out, yeah. yeah. Guess it's all about pulling out, huh? Yeah. 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 I could see that, yeah. So. <clears throat> we don't have to act on those, right? No. No. <laughs> You know, there was concern, people across the street. And yeah, so. so. What are those two lines, those limits of what? what are those lines? can't make that out. I mean, I'm back to my What's different footages? What, what are those? The right by the entrances. Those two dotted lines. What are, what are they? Double suppress or something. What is that? What is that? What is that? Which two dotted lines? Yeah. These lines here. These double lines. Oh. You see what I mean, Jim? Oh, they're they're the the one's they're, they're a fifty written. one's a fifty foot buffer for our zoning regs. So they just they oh, kept the same the map, and the other one is a thirty foot side yard or front yard. Yeah, one's a buffer, one's a sub. Yeah, so they just use their zoning map and okay. see how it goes all the way around oh, the other property. Yeah, what is that? Okay. yeah, right. yep. I'm sure, it says it. Yeah, they just didn't click out the layer. Yeah, it's my understanding is still busy. I had some people that tried to get units and they took for their relatives and they couldn't get the weekends they wanted. Wow. Good. Expensive too. Just How think much? it's a it's a forty seven room hotel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
a but night. Holiday a weekends, night. 300. That's weekday. 300. That's weekday. It's up. It went up. I remember when, when weekend, they first came, weekend, I looked, and it was like weekend, about 200. Weekends more. Weekend Friday, holidays. Saturday, Sundays. Wendy said almost 300. Almost three. If, if you're living in Manhattan, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. you know, like, we're like, pitch a tent. <laughs> 25 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Where are we doing with this? My backyard. <laughs> that's, so I got the big question mark. That's... Unless you want me to just you know mail I, I, this out to everybody for well, the next yeah, meeting. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I think we should table it until like more people get a chance to yeah. weigh in. Yeah, yeah. I I would mail it just so that then we don't have to yep. wait another two weeks, so we're okay. that way it's a month out. Right. Yep. We could schedule a public hearing next meeting. Yeah. Um. Okay. I was hoping Ed was going to be here for Moodus because he and me. Yeah, but you didn't go to the um, meeting with Irene. It was a me- oh, no, I didn't go to the meeting with Irene. No. I guess um, they went and had a talk with her, but I didn't really find out everything that went on there. So, But I guess she is going to um, Just funding. write some letters. Funding for Moodis? Yeah. Uh, well, well, it wasn't necessarily funding. It's asking... State to talk about it or what? Asking COG oh. to initiate... Traffic engineer. Um... No, um, a couple planning studies that they'll do. Mm. But one of them they were going to do relatively quickly. I can't remember which one. Yeah, I, I know. Um, and then the second one, we'd end up on a, on the list of, okay, they'll do it, which would be the corridor study from Moodis to um, Good Speed Landing or vice versa. Um, and that was going to be like three years out by the time they finished that. Now they're going to intercede with the state because the state's a big player on them, whether they're going yeah. to go along with any of They'll this. They'll assist us, but they're not going to. Um, like traffic yeah. counting and all the rest of it. Yeah. Some, some of their work might might help. You know, what, what we really need is, is some ideas and, and some yeah. paper okay. you know, yeah. so we can go to the state without just grandiose ideas. Yeah, exactly. It, it was actually an informative meeting. Yes. It, it was. But it'd be nice to get their planning guy here, too, to talk about. Well, he, we had asked him to have the planning side of River Cog take a look at the new Moodis regulations. We haven't heard anything back on that? Yeah. Who is the planner for Cog? Well, Torrance. Yeah. Is the, Torrance is, yeah. I thought he, we were talking leaving, specifically so. about traffic. Okay. The traffic no, engineer well, we, for we, Cog? We, I know my push to get COG to talk to us was one I think the corridor study would be helpful and they've done it in other towns um, but and we, we've done a lot with the Moodis regulations without formal planning guidance and I know I know I've been like a vocal proponent of it but I'm I'd be much happier if a planner right. would take a look right. at what, it, what okay. we did um, so Cog showed up. It was the guy who does more of these types of traffic studies, which is important, and we need to get you know the ideas to do traffic calming in in Moodis. But um, I, I really like to get Cog. I mean, overall we, we pay him. Like you know, are they, these regs make sense? Yeah. Overall plan. Yeah. yeah. Who is the new? Um, who's taking Torrance's place? They haven't announced that yet. Yeah, they, they, they did. Have, yeah. Oh, I didn't get that notice in the email. <laughs> Since, yeah, you know, that had to happen while I was going on vacation. Um, they take. They told me a while ago, and I can't remember oh. who it is now. And it's November. It's coming right up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm surprised they already filled the spot. Typically, places like that go. Oh, you're leaving. That's right. <laughs> How many emails were in your box when you get back? Way too many. <laughs> you don't go right to your phone, Jim, while you're away? <laughs> I go to a place where my phone doesn't work. <laughs> and then the second week, my, we paid for roaming charges because I'm so close to Canada yeah. that it told me it was roaming. And then it comes up and says, you're still going to get roaming charged. Mary goes, I'll fix that for you. I said, how's that? Shut the phone. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's how it was left. Irene was going to write some letters, okay. or you know, that she, she's the one who has to invite right. it at this point. Yes. So, since it's in her court. So. 
Okay, potential open space grant application. Town of East Adam, Kronberg property, 95 acres, North River Road. Need additional copies. I handed out the last time, but. Yeah. Just the one. Just the one. So the grant application is due October, yeah, October, September 30th. Uh, the Kronberg family approached us about buying this property. It is 95 acres across from Grandview. It is what the Grandview, the Grandview looks at. It's the 20 plus acres of fields across the road from Grandview and the hillside that runs all the way up to the middle school. And my recommendation with my planning ad is is that a majority of the 74 acres be bought for open space preservation which is the farmland and the forest land but there's a piece that has topography wise it's the same as where the middle school is situated that flat top up there mm -hmm. yeah and from a planning you know tie it all up with open space exactly and i already have gone to the board of education and they've approved it nine okay. to nothing yeah, does that, does that uh, complicate the grant Request. No, because the grant will just put a value on the 74 and uh, say, you know, what they use well, they don't care because I'm not asking money for them for that part. Oh, yeah. So that's the, oh, that, only the part that is yeah, so they'll, they'll put a valuation on the 74 and then base their grant on that. Um, that's why I kind of broke out the estimate and they have given us grants, you know, 30% to 65%. Um, when we went and did the Hayward one two years ago, we got 33%. Last year, the East Haddam Land Trust did the one that got 65%. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so the town share could be anywhere from 271000 to 401000 Correct. Now Correct. That includes the fields. Huge difference. Up, uh, Don, Don only bought 13 acres of the field, which is a thin strip alongside of them and then a piece behind and if you look at the map on the end you kind of can see visually there's a piece behind so it has you know, all that water going through it yeah, yeah. yep and he's you know there's some fields back there i mean his his daughter's got horses and he just you know they've also requested you know that we allow you know don to continue to mow it which you want it to be mowed. You don't want agricultural fields to fall out of use and then become a briar patch. Um, uh, it's part of nature. Well, it is. It is. But Eastern cottontail habitat. Habitat, yes. Yes. So just looking for, you know, letters from all the boards and commissions that the you know, so meets you our criteria. And a vote from us to yep. write a letter to recommend that the grant application for this 74 acres move forward? Correct. I'll second that. that right, right? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Jim Gary had one question. Uh, as far as public access to this this land, the hiking trails and stuff, mm -hmm. that's, that's open, right? Yeah. Anybody can drive up there. He said he saw a sign that said you have to register with the, town, the office before you... Oh, property. Property. Oh, the, hmm? We don't own it. No, I mean general hiking, the hiking areas that exist. Here. So if you go up there during school hours and you park during school hours at the middle school, yes, part of their safety protocol is that. But is after there school, for that or? yeah, there's a, there's a sign because they don't want people wandering. So right. we were also going to put another access off of North Lewis Road. There's, there's a space off so of North. You don't have to go up so you don't have to go to the school. Oh, okay. Yeah, you also can park below it, which we can talk about is putting a parking spot below it that's not part of the school proper, and then just walk in from there also. I actually walked, I had Gary and I walked it today, just before it poured the first time today. <laughs> we were lucky. You said you guys were wet, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gary Wilson is the chairman of the Conservation, Conservation Commission. Wait, they get all the money. I can't even get money to do anything that this commission wants to. Here you go. Come on. Yeah, talk to the right people, I guess.
So this one, the East Haddam Land Trust has picked up the pieces and has been negotiating probably for about a decade <laughs> with the property owner. Uh, we actually, the Open Space Committee, talked to them 20-something years ago about this, this piece. This is the 126 acres. 126. It's on Honey Hill. Um, it is across the road from the recently you know, purchased or soon-to-be-purchased Saunders property. It's just south or north of the town, which has, is that Robinson, the 251-acre open space piece. It's west of the Hoppy Yard <coughs> Conservation Easement, and it's east of our own Roaring Brook Preserve. So, now, weren't there any pieces that were part of Benjamin Lane and Rolling Hill? That are under conservation easement, but not, uh, oh, they're but then, easement. yeah. So I was wondering whether they had continuity between the Roaring Brook It's and very and close. There's a couple property owners that own conservation easement that said they'd be willing to participate for some of the crossover. Okay. So, but uh, they've, they also are going to be submitting a grant for September 30th and they're looking for letters of, of approval or this, this one costs cost to it. this doesn't cost us anything this one's free no this is an East Adam land trust cost the town's not buying this yeah why do we have to act on it so they're looking they, they what happens with the state of Connecticut they're looking to say is is this type of open space meets the plan of conservation development? Is it contiguous to other areas? Does it have, you know, streams, farmland, forest land that you'd like to protect? And it, you know, it has, it actually was a, there's a field up there at the top of it that was, I don't know, probably 15 years ago. They used to use this for pheasant hunting, so they used to maintain it annually, cut the fields. Uh, this is a 2016 photo, so there's still some remnants of fields left to it. Plenty of forest land. It kind of splits its drainage a little bit to the 8 mile and most of it to Roaring Brook. The way it's set up. So that to the left there, that big clearing, is that the uh, vineyards? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Although I think he reduced his crop. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Was it working out? A lot of work. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just he and his kids. and It's just endless. I mean, it was a pretty large piece. I don't know if you know what you're looking at here. Yeah, well, I know how the hill that is because I cleared it. You know, it oh, you did? When, I, when we first opened that, oh, my gosh. It rough terrain. And that's so, Knuckles' yeah. place right next door. <laughs> What's that? Knuckles' place right oh, next yeah. door? Yeah. The playground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you need a motion to that uh, uh, we find that the 126 acre Honey Hill Farm property meets the criteria for open space purchase for uh, the plan of conservation development. Yep. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion to change order of business. <coughs> Shoot. Yes. Uh, Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Here we have it. If there's a report, right? We have to skip the public hearing now. Yep. So, uh. So you just jump in the ship before I got there. <laughs> I'm jumping the ship before you got there. Wow. Secretary's taking over. No, wow. if the secretary's taking over, <laughs> if the secretary's taking over, we'd be starting a public hearing. <laughs> so, the only thing is that. I went and uh, tried to poke the bear when they started running down 149 with the gas pump line. Hmm. Um, yeah. And just today, they met with Irene to let her know that, oh, yeah, they're coming through East Haddam. Well, no kidding. Um, well, they kind of figured it, but they were, where else could they be going? Right. At the same time. But they're, they're going to go through down 149. Pass, then then cut past uh, St. Bridget's. Oh, okay. then, then so they are going through Moodus. They are going through Moodus. 151 all the can, way up to 151 all the way up to Heard Park. 
are we going to be able to use it? And at this point, that was kind of about questionable because I wasn't in the meeting. So I would, you know, two herd so, parks. So, so the herd park. What are they connecting? And then crossover. There's some existing pipes. So she's gonna. I said, do me a favor, and I, you know, I'm gonna get copies of the PDF so I can make copies for us for a handout where they're going with it. Um, where are they feeding you know, all the gas from? Right? They she kind of, they, she indicated well they're feeding the gas all the way from Monville. Oh, that's where they're coming from. Yeah, that's okay, where it started. Like, they're, they're, right. they're putting pipe in culture. And, so where the hell's the gas coming? and it's also going to tie into existing lines. But it was so late in the day when I, I said, well, I'll get it for the next meeting. So everybody's got to pack it to see where it's going. Now, she was under the impression that if they, once everything was all fed and in place, they could do stations. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, you know, I've been told. I've been told by others that they, no, that's not going to happen. It just seems. I mean, they have a gas line that comes across sixty six right by Axelrod. Say that mm -hmm. there, right? Yep. So they go to Herd Park by way of Colchester. Even I, Adam, I know. I, mean, I you could see there. That that does provide resiliency, though. You know, multiple ro the resiliency, multiple routes, and you can something gets shut down. Yeah, I just don't see the population. Well, if they went across, I could feeding. see it. I yeah. Mean, if you got a community you're feeding, but maybe Moodus is worth doing, but I mean, like, they're... Could they send a line down to space town? Huh? So? It's just mm -hmm. a lot of open land they're covering with a gas line. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Holy mackerel, miles and miles of... Miles and miles of crooked roads, road. too. I yeah, mean, like, you know, the going by... Herd Park. Yeah, what's that And then about? shoot it across, well, then, because there's across a station the across the river. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, if they're going to connect up there to the one in... I'm sorry, I thought they were so this is all about Higginham? Yeah. No, this is about connecting multiple lines so that if they can shut the valve off of one and go the other way. And still so feed they can that, isolate it. Plant. And still yeah. keep things open. Yeah, but where do you plant. go when you cross the river to from Heard Park? I mean, the right, map right. ended at that point, so I need Pratt and Whitney. Or? No, it must go farther up. Energy. Cobalt. There's the, there's That's not that far from the river. You get to 80 up to, Mood, up to Middletown. Yeah. No, but there's a line that crosses the river right there where the power lines cross. Yeah. Right by just before you get to the 7 Eleven at Axel Rods, right there. And yeah. There's a gas line there. So I thought they were going to that. So yeah. Where, where could you be going? Wow. Okay. To connect to that's the line that crossed mm. the river because you're not running another line across the river. That's an undertaking. Well, that's the way the, the map ended crossing the river again. So I don't know. I'll get a. You know, there's a gas line. Uh, so, well, I, that was the. Yeah. So that was the funny part is that the consultant called me. In June, and I mentioned it to you back then that you know they wanted they're talking about the reservoir, asking if we drain the reservoir. They came in requesting because the town can request to drain it. Oh, because they got to go through that section. They got to go through that section by the transfer station, and they need it at four fee. It just happens to be that the that Lutus little. Reservoir Preservation Group is asking it to be a two to three feet so they can maintain once in every ten years mm -hmm. some of their well, with stuff. Year to do it because already down. Yeah. Just down almost two feet. Yeah. So that request is going to go to DEP, but then she asked me to provide her with a, what does it look like when you draw down four feet? Yeah, I just and realized, though, I think there was a Mohawk gas line or something that crossed uh, 154 right by the uh, Haddam dump area there. Years ago, they right there. So there must be a connection right in that there. area. That okay. must be the connection thereafter. Okay. Well, well let me ask. About that let me ask you this: Have they have they talked about setting other lines in through East Haddam, or are they just going to kind of go through? Maybe Mudas can get it. I mean, I don't know. So I I'll find out more details. Justify that. Well, it, it is kind of weird that Center they've mind. already got a Center plan mind. approved, and they're putting lines in yeah. through a town where they the business. That's a long run. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Because if they're working with the state, they don't have to. They're on state highways. They don't have to. They're not. They're not cutting a single local road. Yeah, but why they all, haven't yet. Why all the secrecy, though? Why? I don't. I mean, it's shouldn't this be secret? It's public dug up. Shouldn't this be public information? I, you know, if you go on EverSource's line, they only publish where they're at and where they've been. There's but, nothing in there that says where they're going. They're getting. They're still funky with giving out big utility information. You, you still need a reason. Wow. That's from nine eleven. That's going to disrupt the whole center of Moodus, I mean. Especially while they're working on the bridge. I went bridge. through this construction site every morning, and I'm doing it now because they're coming back with, uh, with final paving now. And it's not the end of the world. It's a couple no, of feet. No, I know. It's really rough. Though. 
Oh, well, stuff on your vehicle. There, there's yeah. 16 issues, really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everybody's avoiding it. Cars are okay, but the trucks are so cool. oh. Right. Yeah. Anyway, come on. Anything else? Uh, so now that the state has finished the sidewalk out in front here, um, Public Works and, and the select women talked about the possibility of fixing at least the sidewalk that goes from our driveway oh, okay. to the crosswalk to the library. There is, you know, there is existing sidewalk underneath there for 80% of the way, and then there's another 80 feet of, I want to call it asphalt and grass, you know, that was there at one point. So they're talking about fixing that, and then Don brought up, he goes, you know, that's for nothing. If we're going to dig it up, maybe we should run a wire and do some lights. So I put together a sketch. I just did it today, you know, measured out everything. And I got to call Eversource to see, you know, if that program is still available okay. for There's, lighting. The lights are on the other side? Is that what they are? Lights are on the other side. Yeah. Um, of course, I most of the lights, there's 30% of them I checked the other night are out, oh. and Steve's, <laughs> Steve's working on them on that because somebody took the one out right across from Grist Mill. Oh, really? They took it right out. Oh, yeah. I don't know what, you know, happened there, okay, but cut it off at the base. Uh, yeah, but there's some that are out, and so he's, you know, he's going to talk to them about first let's get the, yeah, right. you know, they want to put new. They want to put better LED lights in them, anyways. But That's yeah, I know, there, I know. They've been terrible, kind of. I mean, for what we thought we were getting, and yep. we got like old blinders. But like uh, have some decent lighting. So that I'll bring a sketch to you. And yeah. if has I, the, you know, since we're talking about Plains Road, has the state, has anything ever been more talked about about down at the green and getting rid of that road? I haven't had a new round of state grants for that to come up, but I, it's on my search. I mean, why would so. state grants? I was the state. I thought the state had to sign it over and stuff. I thought they were they were the ones interested in us taking it over at that point. Well, they were, but you just got to. You know, we were looking for a a grant to do the work, like we did the first when we did the first sidewalk thing. That was a state, state grant. steep grant that we did. Um, and then we applied a couple times since and just haven't got it because there's been other projects that they've chosen. So, wasn't it that some private owner drainage issue with that? There's well, they're, that's one of the things they're going to be fixing. Yeah, they're running drainage from the street down through these properties, and the piping is all ends up back, back here in the field. Mm. Yeah, and it just dumps in the back. Yeah, and that, that is an issue. If they're yeah. going to collect that and run it down, then those, those issues would go yep. away. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully then it would free up back here, you know, eventually if they ever want to do anything back here. Yeah. Because there's a big swamp between, like, where the ball field is and where the next field is. Right. That right. whole wooded area. Well, I think it's all wooded because they haven't moved so, that field no, in years. So. It's, the, it's wooded, and it's actually now it's a channel that runs right along the old fence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really? the chain link fence that was there, the channel is. Oh, it did. So Some it's. Some thing came because of the fence being there. Is yep. that drain into Shady Brook? Or? No, that drains all the way down behind Cumberland Farms. Moody's River. And they, oh, into they, the I call River. it Northam's house, the little... Yep. little Dumps in the Moody's River down there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. Right. But it beats the daylights out of that yard on, on real yep. icy, frozen ground. And then you get a heavy rain like we did. It just comes. And they were blaming this facility when it was a... Uh, you know, middle school. Oh. I followed the storm, and I, I went right in and got it right between Mike Moss's two apartment yeah. buildings and the Plains Road Highway. Oh, yeah. The pipe is yeah. ancient, and it's, it has gaps in it and everything else down there. Yeah, it's all. So that'd be. So good. that's what we're waiting for then. Yeah, money. That would be a great improvement, though. Yeah, so it really would. Yeah. Well, especially you know Memorial Day and stuff. Yeah, you know, uh, open that green up. The, uh, no one ever uses that road anyway. This question came up. No, the pond. no, it's I mean. We used to when I, I mean, lived down there. Obviously, they didn't clean out the pond, so is that on the table? So, so one of the reasons they didn't clean out the pond is they panicked because they thought that there could be hazardous materials that they'd have to deal with. In the pond? In the pond. Yeah. And it didn't occur to me why they were thinking it until after the fact. 
That pond is not the pond that had the oil tanker roll over in it. No, there's wigwam. Wigwam at the bottom of the hill they, they is the, the right one. one. They had the wrong one. No, so they hazardous waste from wires. So well, so they were they did pull samples. So now that oh. the project's almost done, I did say to DEP, I want a copy of those samplings yeah, right. so that when it does come time for us to do this, I don't have somebody coming by and going, Time out, there's there's yeah. hazardous waste in it when you've already done the yeah. sampling. Well the other thing is, you know, the drought we have a really good time. I know, know it. I know. And it's already been approved uh, by wetlands. Yeah, to dredge it, the wetlands. Back to uh, what Hood did part of the original plan. So it's it's not it's not a lot. It's four, six. Four maybe. It's six. Six, okay. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, there's quite a bit of stuff. In but take a heck of a machine to, you know, you gotta build a ramp and then yeah, swing so, it. Yeah, and I know I told you you need a long reach and you need a good stone pad down you can only that hit you it can from sit on one side, right? Yeah, yeah they, they unfortunately they have a place to cast it to. Right. So, I mean, right. it's do very doable, especially now that it's so dry. So. All right. And what's the status of 82 at Strong's Brook? Their goal was to be done by the 29th so that we could get school buses through it. We're almost done, or? I haven't heard okay. that they're not, so yeah. It's still closed. 29th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 29th is Monday. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all dealing with the droughts perfect for them. So yeah. like these guys, they did great. Really yeah, they didn't lose many work days, that's for sure. No. no. With all this one here, they were, they were they some, there was there was some Sunday mornings I saw. That's what here. I heard, that Sunday morning like, backup I, alarms were working. Well, I come out here and I go, wait a minute. <laughs> what day is today? Am I supposed to be at work? It's Sunday, yeah. Well, but, they wanted to get it done, right? Yeah. Well, they, they did. They got done a couple days early, too, I think. Yeah. Double time day. Yeah, so but, but they time. yeah, but they did it, and it's we'll work it. But they're the same company that did the uh, the bridge at the falls on uh, Chapman Falls, mm -hmm. the Devil's Hot Bridge, and they were like a month and a half over and getting five five minutes a day. They yeah, they got yeah, they got hit there, but they were understaffed and didn't have the manpower at the time. They did it. So. Yeah. So apparently they weren't going to let that happen. <laughs> so do we have a start date on the bridge yet? Big bridge? Not that I heard of. No. <laughs> Take a year. Last, yeah. well, no, last I saw, I mean, it's awarded. They're working on the last I saw. They're, they're working on their schedule, and they'll submit it sometime in the next month, I think. Yeah. But they don't have a formal schedule yet. No. They aren't. They aren't planning closings this year. The closings no. happen next spring. The lay down area behind the Dunkin' Donuts. What's that for? We know that's the bridge, or is that for the sidewalk? No, uh, they, the sidewalk's almost done, and they just yeah. opening it up. They got trailers down that's there. The now. That's pretty, I would think, from my understanding, which makes no sense down. whatsoever. That's, that's why I was wondering what it was for. Yeah, Aspen yeah. to use the park. Why won't they use the park? No, yeah. well, that's where would have been a good opportunity to get them to fix the park on the on pulling out. Yeah, yeah, so I was just wondering who's lay down area. They're not planning a building right there. No, apartments. I, those are on the other side. Okay. Right yeah, no. I just heard that yesterday. Someone said that they're setting up there, and I said, you got to be kidding me. Because it's brutal to pull out of there and go take a left. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about Well, stuff. I guess they're planning on that to be a lot easier. I don't, well, they definitely need to be on the Adam <laughs> side, right? I mean, that's really yeah. where they're yeah. Yeah. No room yeah, there's nothing on here. You know, yeah. I think they used the last time. Yeah, I don't know why they don't use the Eagle Landing. Or even that little area just at the base of the hill under uh, the uh, river house there, that area. Yeah. Why, I don't know. I have no idea. Somewhere closer. You'd think you'd do it right there unless they think they need two, you know, areas. I don't know. Okay. I, that's so one thing we didn't get. To, um, Joe this week kind of signed. Yeah. yeah. Finally, yeah. a couple years later. Okay. We've had this two weeks. But what is that the Oh yeah yeah that's part of our public hearing, part of the planning. Yeah. Oh okay. Yep. 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 Yeah.
Is there a motion for a two minute break? Three minute break? I'll move. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. as it was to not keep it oh, up. Oh, I oh, still won't move that down. <laughs> I just got wet. Everything? The, I only opened about that much. Yeah. So the, our, our seats were just, you know, we, we rummaged it back. We had a couple, um, like, like freezer bags for groceries, you know, that yeah. stuff. And we sat on those on the way home. But the next day, we went up to Lexington and Concord. And, you know, sure enough, I had to sit on like, plastic. Do you have dinner up there or lunch? Dinner dinner lunch at, there? We had lunch at um, Helen's restaurant or something in Concord. We were, we were, we had to get home for the one. We had to get home for the dogs. So we didn't want to do, and we were just like looking for something like a burger, quick. And my son had come with us. We had uh, I was visited a friend of mine. He was out from Montana. He was at his brother's house. We ended up in that same area, and we went to one of the old taverns. It was great. I, I would love to, but they're expensive too. Um, I think, well, we didn't drink. I felt this at all. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. at the bar. The bar. Yeah, we just sat at the bar. Okay. Yeah, we, we had to go home for the dogs. It was nice. Very good. We're all number. Hmm? We're all number. We better, <laughs> better rule smartly tonight. <laughs> So I heard that the um, parking lots for the uh, good speed are going to be closed to the uh, airport festival. Yeah. They were last year. That's good. You know, they, they kind of had miscommunication, and I, I guess brought it up at one meeting. And so apparently the miss is continuing, or not? Well, no. They just you know, good speed's got a function going on. The okay. Nino's. I mean, the restaurant's got something going on. So yeah, they just ordered two or three more buses. Did they? Yeah. Across the river, or the town site. There's parking lot at the place itself, but they got quite a few vendor spots. So you know those vendors are going to park around on the south of the water pollution control plant. They are, you know, keep away the from that. The site itself is pretty limited. I have to admit, it's mm. what we set up last year. Mm. I was impressed. There's a lot going on there. They fit and they did. I was bummed I missed the C47 command. They should advertise that. That would have been cool. <laughs> I'd fly in a C-47 in a heartbeat. What? I'd fly in a C-47 in a heartbeat. Right. But I landed Monday. I guess my wife showed me on Facebook. Came in around dusk or something, right over the bridge. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big plane. That's there. a big plane. That. That's a big plane. They were like a big slow ox. Yeah. And they're used to rough fields, so. And they probably... Empty. Can't, yeah, empty, and you know, I'm sure when they landed, they went full. You know, they switched the pitch on the on the propeller, and went full back thrust. So I guess the guy who flies it is really experienced. Okay. Oh, not an easy landing. <laughs> no, no, you got to clear the bridge too. You know. Okay. I think it's eight o'clock. Call the uh, public hearing. Part of our meeting to order. We have a call. The East Adam Planning and Zoning Commission will hold a public hearing on August 23rd, 2022, at 8 p.m. at the Municipal Office Complex, meetings room one and two, one Plains Road, Moodus, Connecticut, to hear the following. 
427 Tater Hill Road, Christopher and Gino Weske, applicants. Christopher Weske, property owner. I hope I got that right. <laughs> Special exception review for accessory uses, map 51, lot 50. You may access the YouTube live link from the town's website at www.easthaddam.org. At this hearing, interested part persons shall be heard and correspondence received. Questions or comments about this application may be emailed to jventress at easthaddam.org during the hearing. Ventures to return. <laughs> I rubbed your warm. Should have gotten a break. Are you free to get the card to see if we get correspondence? <laughs> yes, it is. Computers help for email. Oops. <laughs> Doing so many meetings without public hearings. Okay, where do we have Jim? Let me just log on. See if only we'd taken a break to get set up. Hey. <laughs> Can't remember everything. We're not age. <laughs> no, he's younger than me. Senior moment. <laughs> hey, you know. Yeah, I'm all set. Okay, so I'll give you copies of the application. And the applicants are here. Do you have your green cards? Certified mail, sir. Yes. Okay, you would. <laughs> Safety in numbers. Okay, this is that farm. Goes all the way out at the end. Towards the top. Towards the top, but uh, well, top by um, the other side from where Millington. I'm. Yep. Yep. Okay. So let me explain for the record why you're here. Uh, you're looking to do additional activities that are accessory to a farm, which under our regulation calls for a special exception review. All special exception reviews come to hearings where you're required to put together a narrative and discussion of what you'd like to do and also send the notification out to all the budding property owners with 100 feet and so if you guys are ready we'd have them make their presentation yeah. as to what you'd like to do Give them. do it wherever you're comfortable Can you introduce yourself oh, for the record, please? I'm Gina Westy. Chris Westy. And um, we're just looking to do uh, things that are above what is allowed to do as a farm. We um, would like to do certain events there, community type events, uh, some little yoga, um, different events that go around um, the flowers, like cutting the flowers.
education on trips. Uh, we had groups come and everything and kind of show them the chickens and have them get eggs and stuff like that. Um, we do tours for um, special needs groups who seem to really enjoy coming and interacting with the animals. Um, we've also done uh, yoga to benefit um, all of the money that we made went to Ray of Light because we knew during COVID and everything that um, they were probably struggling a little. Um, we've done other things, uh, given money to um, the uh, uh, Little League. Um, we did the banner and we've also put together baskets for someone else that was raising money to um, the, I think the Haslam Fund. I can't remember the last name. Um, so things like that also. Candles for private graduation where the proceeds went to the school, different things like that. Um, we uh, try to uh, be a creative outlet for people and do crafty things. Like, um, I would like to do uh, flower crown making and different other things that involve stuff from the farm as well. Um, uh, soap making classes. We make goat milk soap with our own milk, so we would just like to be able to have like small classes to teach that kind of thing, and um, again, different stuff to introduce people to farming in a fun way and just being able to have kids and other people maybe that really didn't know much about the animals to learn more and appreciate them and take in those things. So yeah, we're just a, a small goat farm, we're like local, so we welcome everybody to us. We like to, you know, in town. Uh, it, it's really, like she said, we started at, at trying to figure it out ourselves how, how to farm. You know, we, we both went on Ray's own farm. We didn't come to the farm. Our grandparents did, but we didn't. We missed it. We missed that step. And it, it's really about being a community area for people to get back into agriculture. Into Growing flowers, into uh, raising grapes, into milking, all the processes of it, the village for it. Uh, we have, when we do a, we have events, we, we want to learn to have people work them from town so we'll have parking. We have parking on, uh, available on our property. Uh, we have the tenants to help with, uh, three sons to help. We have a little pet who's not old enough to help with the parking lot, but she's a pretty good farm hand. Uh, but it, it's a very simple, simple farm. Uh, we just want to open up to more events. And if anything with farming, you know, it's really hard to make a budget work. Uh, the farming tourism is actually the way most farms survive. You're not going to survive on, on making a couple hundred barges so a year. You're not going to survive on it. You just can't. We have to have events. Bring up income, give back, buy a nine dollar beer, and and feed the animals, and it has to supplement it. That's what farmers do. Yeah, that's it. How many events do you think you would have during a year? Um, well, like what I have here, the the big events are the seasonal one, like for fall, um, winter, spring, summer, and then we close in the winter. Um, January through March. Um, and those would just be like one to two things, like for the big ones. But as far as like doing um, birthday parties or showers, like small scale, I'm not thinking like huge, large, you know, kind of things. Um, I would like to do, you know, one a weekend or so. Uh, it looks like on here it's like an event every day, but I did it that way so it could interchange. Like, if we, we're not going to do all of these things once a week, like, we would mix them up and do, you know, different things, so, depending on weather or, you know, whatever is going on. It's not like we're doing something like this every day. 
and even with the events, like the small things with, with the flower crowns and stuff, it's like an hour or two, and it's in the daytime. It's not at night. We do everything in the like, middle of the day, late morning, early afternoon time. Um, and nothing, like even for the fall event, it's not running over three hours. So it's not like a whole day of having tons of people at Your plan, you're correct. I, I, I went through and tried to figure out how many events, and it's six and a half events a week yeah. without your special events. Yeah. So I, like, that's a lot to approve. Would you be okay with if we gave you a set number of no more than 25 or 30 events a year, whatever works? You can always come back if it works well and supplement. But we did that. With, that's like what we do at Smith. Yes. Would, would the... Um, Yoga and all those things, though, be considered events. Well, also. That, that's what we need to work out. Because yeah, I mean, I would want to at least do something like once. Once, once a week. Least, yeah, I would, yeah. Or at least two. That's. I mean, we, if, we if could do like something like that. It's like an event type thing, like a flower crown making, and then like a birthday party on the weekend kind of thing. Like I would like to be able to do that, and then just the one big one a season. Like that's pretty much like the, you know, to start. Music, instrumental, acoustic. It's, it's um, for Christmas. It is. It's acoustic for Christmas. Um, music. We really only did that during the fall one, mm -hmm. and we have midnight anthem play, and they're like a um, country kind of. They're not like three girls who sing. Right, but they're yeah, not. They're, but they're, they're not. They're not electric. They're all. It's all acoustic. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. No, they have, no amplifiers. Yeah, they, they, no they amplifiers. Have speakers, yeah, they have speakers. No, they do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, you mentioned uh, it's up to fifteen people on the uh, flower crown bracelet making, but what about the rest of these events? What about numbers? Um, for yoga, yeah, like the same thing. I think I have like up to four families, up to twenty people. I kind of yeah. give ideas like for birthday Where's party it? showers. It would be like thirty people. I wrote it in there. Second line in each one, or a third line. Yeah. It's a painting a parties, team. farm related painting party, up to 20 people. Oh, what I'm saying, like with the spring event or the oh. summer event. Or the yeah, the, the big or events numbers. do draw more people. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a handle on what are we talking about for a, a real event? Yeah. I mean, other than like yoga or something, it's maybe yeah. some minor thing. Um, over the three hour period though. Yes. yes. Not yes. all hundred not around. all hundred at one time or right. just a road. Yes. No. Oh. You sure you have twelve parking spaces? Yes, yeah, so so Do you have overflow parking? parking? Gravel set parking we have that way. There's a little better. We, uh, I didn't realize they photocopied off that ugly. So when today. you have 100 people, uh, how many cars do you think? Short one. Tim, you got one more? No, not a, not a clean yeah. copy like that, no. I mean, you've ever had any problem parking all the cars, right? No, 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 not at all. Yeah. No, because people come and go. Yeah. So you've been having events? Yeah. You put the food truck in the parking lot? The food truck for the big event goes in the parking lot, gravel parking lot. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. That works out well? Yes. Yeah, so the, the site plan demonstrates 17 parking spots formal and then overflow pack parking all the way to the back what are the ps oh parking, parking spots yeah Got it. oh i see okay so yeah. 17 overflow yeah. is what the 12 parking spaces no all the way in the back by the uh that's why wooded area by the wooded area yeah Got it. So, oh 
Okay, I got you. Get I don't. Cars, <clears throat> well, they've oh. done it in the past. That's well, you know. I'm not asking. I haven't yeah. Asking. Yeah, I've looked at it from Google Earth, and it's it's pretty open. It doesn't look it, but on this map, it looks, hmm? it looks really wooded on this map. That's because this map is. 2016, they purchased it and they've cleared it. Since. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that, makes yeah, that sense. explains it. <laughs> How many acres? It would have been hard to park. What's that? How many acres? Uh, what is it? It's 4.1 4. acres. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions at this time? No. Open it to the public for questions or comments. How much of that land? Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, your, right. your questions have to be directed to us, and I need your name, please. Oh, I'm sorry. My you, name is Richard Allard. You can't Albert. just... Property owner next to the Westies. Okay, and your name again, sir? Richard Albert. Thank you. Uh, just wondering how, how many of those four acres, 4.1, are actually available to use with all the fencing and everything else, plus the wooden section in the back, about 100 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, will you be using all the acreage, do you think, or...? No, we left a buffer. Yeah, um, so how much of a buffer? About a hundred something feet of woods. Okay, so you'd be using three hundred, uh, three plus acres, roughly. Okay. <coughs> Does that answer your question, sir? Um, the buffer is more on the side of your. I'm oh, sorry, Roxy and Albert Richards. Uh, okay. Wife. Yep. The buffer that you're speaking of is more. To the side of their property and not to the back, because the 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 whole area is a, a, a V shape. Uh -huh. Our property butts in, in on the map. You can see that we've been cleared pretty close to our property line. And you are to the south, south north. of them. Okay. No, we're to the north. Of them. You're to the north, north of them. You see. You so on the map there, the property there, where it says new field area, and then north of it. Could I show you a oh, better sure. map than what they gave you? Well, let me, we printed sure. it off Google Maps. I printed it off Google. It's from 2022. It actually shows. I, yeah, that'd be nice. I, I have a bad map. Sir. Well, then this is. Uh, where are you taking? This is north. Okay. That's north. This is us right here. This there. And they're here. That's it. Yep. Okay. Yep. All the fence and everything all the way around. That's it. Okay. Thank you. So there's quite a bit of trees between the properties. Looking at this. I'm most of them, but not ours. Their trees, okay, not theirs, okay. All right, because, yeah, look, the <coughs> property line. Right, I got you. Right, a stone wall or something here. Is it? I can't see that here. Okay. Is there a stone wall there? Yeah. That's the property line? That's yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Melissa Taylor's 440 Sacred Hill Road. We're directly south of them across the street. Yep. And we've been living since 1997. And I'm overjoyed to have a farm in an agricultural town. I, my kids go over there. They're very important over there. And I have not had any problem with noise or parking or traffic or anything. I mean, there have been. theirs uh -huh. and I would just like to say this is a lovely family their animals are beautifully cared for animals would be overjoyed to belong to this family all of their um, events are for the community frequently the proceeds are donated to the community it's quiet respectful just their it, their joy to have in the neighborhood and in our community 
I have gone to them on a few occasions saying there was a dog rescue group that needed some, they were going to have a fundraiser. She immediately goes into her shop and says, I'd like to contribute. What else can we do? Um, it's, it's always a step forward for the community. And from my understanding with knowing them, um, the whole purpose of these little animals, it, it's a family farm. They, they are their pets. And so they want people to touch the animals and the children are happy touching them. And these are, it's a fabulous, lovely place. And they would not impact the neighborhood or the community in any negative way whatsoever. As, as far as I can see, it would only be a positive. And my property is, back of my property joins theirs. Okay, thank you. Ma'am? Just wanted to say that they are very nice people. They have not uh, been difficult at all. However, as a property of other that have been there for 40 years, I now have excessive noise from Tater Hill. All the traffic we hear because no buffer was left the other properties have more woods on their own property which allowed a, a buffer for the noise we don't have as much when they took all the woods down it opened it right up so um never heard of Taylor here before traffic. never even knew it was there now never heard when we fired it goes by so, you have been completely dead. Um, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. that just really, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, it, and it, it is a residential neighborhood. And so, is this an event venue? Is it a farm? Is it a retail shop that sells other wares from different vendors? What, what is this? Well, it sounds like it's going to be a, like a, a family farm, a petting zoo, and uh, having some, a lot of flowers and things. So a petting zoo, do we require licensing, permits, veterinarian checks? What, what is required for a petting zoo? Not on a agricultural, which are standard agricultural animals. Right whether it's this farm or Cone's farm when they were raising cattle or Rayolite. Rayolite. Yeah. They're not, because they're not bringing. But they charge. No. So, oh. yes, on their Facebook, it says right. that they would be charging a nominal fee to get in and cuddle and pet with the animals. So that turns it into a petting zoo. Yes? No? I, I'm asking you for guidance. So, can I answer that? I'm sorry. Hold on one second. What do you have, Jim? Well, you know, typically, I mean, I can research it, but zoos typically include exotic animals, and then that's where you have the state and get involved. Usually goats and lambs when yeah. you start looking at. But maybe, maybe she has an answer to it, but otherwise I'll have to research it. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, otherwise I'll have to research it. What was your answer? Um, I know I had looked up petting zoo, but even though when she's talking about going in and cuddling with them and stuff, that's just, you don't do that every day. That's like part of the event with the goat yoga and stuff like that. The everyday thing, like where people just, the kids will ask to see the animals and the stuff, you know, like just to pet them through the fence. That's the, the petting zoo part. And when I looked it up for the state of Connecticut, um, I didn't, there was a questionnaire of different things, like of how many animals you have, and, all, and I did the questionnaire, and I did not qualify to need extra anything, like he had insurance for all of this through the Lyman Insurance Agency, like we are completely covered with insurance for people to be on the property and petting the animals and doing all of that stuff. So that's about all that I think, because I did make sure that it was Anything else at this time? So, uh, uh, why have a question? So, if you have an event, where on your property is an event concentrated? It is, I don't know if we put a picture, it's 
Please so th this, if, if you can, this picture is probably the clearest of what is currently there. Right. Is it near your... I mean, is it back here? Or right. is it, you know, or is it up here? This is being your house, oh, That's right? your house, right? And what's this? No, that, that's the house, right? That's this your house? house. That's, that's your that's farm right. equipment, farm area. Right? Yes. Okay. So most events are here on this, this lawn right in front of... In this area, we've we've moved all the animals towards the back, so most events, like if you had food or anything, there's the park. Music, or off Taylor Hill. Music is is, we we set it right next to this barn, like off of this side of the barn. Okay. Um, we have done. Food trucks in the parking lot here. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, that's parking lot. Okay. Um, we have done yoga in this open field here before. Okay. No music with the yoga? No, no music at all. What goes on here? These are dairy Pigs goats. Pigs. So this, this mm -hmm. is uh, dairy goats. These are females. These are uh, smaller goats. They're mm -hmm. pygmy goats. These are the boys. <laughs> These are ducks. Okay. So. And you cleared all this, correct? No, this is what it so, used to be, right? That's all so, yeah, so this is the existing. So it, there was a stone wall here. Yeah. And I've cleared to here. Okay. So I cleared this, about this, this chunk here. And along here, correct? Looking at this. Uh, yes, up to the wall. Yep. Okay. Up to the wall on each side. So are you higher or lower than these people? Higher. Or are you the same? We're both. We're lower. You're higher? They're higher. Your water runs They're towards higher. us. You're higher, dude. We got, got a dog. We got a dog. He's eight. Okay. We can figure that out. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll figure that out. You know what I'm getting at. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You stand on your property and you look over the stone wall, you're looking at Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. So yes, ma'am. I just wanted to say okay. that most of the events, I move on my own That's right. Most of the events are facing my house. Mm -hmm. Directly. Across. Well, that's why I wanted him to show us. They yes. are. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. You were going to say something? Um, that I don't know with the noise what they're talking about because we've lost tons of money since this came about. We stopped all anything we were doing. And um, yeah. But she's saying we're causing it. So they, they've commented that it was a traffic on Taylor Hill. Well, one thing I would like to know is how they're addressing the rodent and the varmint population that has increased since they've opened up with the goats and everything. And we've noticed a, 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 an increase in our mouse population that has gone through the roof in the last couple. And I, I can answer that. It's a wait, tough one. Wait, I didn't open my grill the other day. All right, so, so. 17 blue bottle flies dead. So. come from waste. The answer for the mice, seeing that I used to do this for a living, the acorns that were out, they've actually had three litters this year because there's so many acorns and they're so healthy. The mice population has been a problem throughout the entire state because the acorn population was up and they had food source and they were able to succeed. So, okay, <laughs> it's factual. <laughs> so so if, there would be a concern if you told me, and there's also the, the squirrel populations up. But if it was, but if it was rats, that'd be a different thing and that's controllable also. Um, Go ahead. I'm sorry. And if it was rats, then that'd be a, that, that's an that's agricultural it. issue. Yeah. No. no, they're more like field mice. Yeah. Big field mice. I don't. <laughs> they're eating pretty well. They, the, let's put this. From. This put, the traps at my house haven't stopped all year, and they I typically they typically stop in the summertime. Yeah. 
but it's just been overwhelming. Yeah. Tim brought up a good point. Um, we might want to go out and have a look yeah, at this property I was thinking that. and see okay. what it really looks like. Um, if that's, that's okay with you folks. Let's go. Um, so that way we kind of see what, what's really going on out there. I have yes, another question about the waste, animal waste. How is that supposed to be kept? It's being kept closer to the property lines in the back. So, I mean, you know where I'm going with this. You've got water, you know, torrential range, you have deforested the area, so you could have potential runoff here in the Eight Mile River watershed. Well, maybe that is, is something that they can look at. at that'll be something we can look at. We we'll can look take at a look at it. When we, at it. Out, when we do our field walk. You know where we're we're going to continue this, too. You know where the nearest water course is in, in this photo, or no? Uh, it's a waste. We do have there's, waste. there's a small... There's a, we do have waste regulations in the, yeah. in the farm regulations. Oh, yeah. 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 We can take a look at that and make sure they're compliant. That goes between yeah. Every yeah. Um, but not a, not a big open water course or river or stream or something like that. It's they're at the top of a compressed soil glacier, uh -huh. so there's a lot of hard pan underneath it, and there's you know. Yeah. We're getting down close to the Lena property, right? No, no, no this is way at the top of the, the hill in my another in Hillington. It's up by the green. Oh. This is up on the top. Oh, yeah, okay. All the way up. Okay. Dominant tree is red maple, Gina? and oak. It's a, it, it's Jenna, right? Gina, Gina I, I apologize. Um, we're going to continue this, but could you do me to us a favor and kind of give me a, a more of a month, a weekly outline of what you might be looking for okay, um, of events? Write it down. Okay, like write it down and give it to you. Yeah, the next time we come in, okay. you know, because I'm looking. We're looking at this. You know, what, okay, what really are you looking for? You know, give us what the sh you know shooting for the moon, and then what you can settle for. And, and we're going to work, you know, okay? And bring your green cards in tomorrow, right? Yeah, bring your green, green, green cards here. in. We have to have those, please. And we'll try and schedule a... We a, should try to do that now so that... Yeah. Because it's because you're part of an open public hearing right yeah. now. Um, yeah. Whatever works for you guys. I'm, I'm pretty good except for Thursday night. Have a gateway meeting. <laughs> could have been you. No, it could not have been me. You got a redevelopment on Thursday? So how about next week? Yeah, um, good development. Well, it's next Tuesday. We're open on Tuesdays usually, right? Isn't Tuesday uh Butlins? Butlins? No, no. no it's what do I have Tuesday that I don't know about? No, is it no 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 Tuesday isn't Tuesday that the fifth Tuesday? It's what date is it? The thirtieth. The thirtieth. It's the fifth Tuesday, so there are no meetings. That'd be a great one to do it. There we go. Oh, um, yeah. The six o'clock, so we brilliant. yes, six o'clock on, on, on site. On site. No, six o'clock is ugly. Six thirty is the best I can do. Okay, okay. It's getting too dark at six thirty, but yeah. getting close. But no, it's we'll yeah. make it. Yeah. It's a short. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock next Tuesday. Six thirty. Six thirty. I mean six thirty. <laughs> Sorry. What's the date on that? The thirtieth. Thirtieth. The fifth Tuesday. We'll send it up together. <clears throat> yep. Numbers. I will. All right. And posted. <clears throat> So just to let you know, when a public hearing is held out in the site, because I'm not bringing a recorder, the only thing we can talk about is location, location, location. Where's your property line? Where do you keep the waste? Where do you station? Not debate whether it's good or bad. We can then bring it back and say, while we were in the field, they identified X, Y, Z as that, and this is my concern or not my concern. But while we're out there, we're not debating things, we're just looking. So everybody knows, because it is open to the public for, for walking, but uh, we're not going to debate whether this is good or bad or indifferent. It's just that this is the rabbit pins, this is the, where the geese are, here's where the waste pile is. Parking, music. Parking, yes. Da -da. So we can only talk about location, location, location. Not hours of operation, none else. That'll be back here. So I'd like to clarify one thing. Okay, so we've got five major events, and we have um, minor events. Mm -hmm. And those minor events, she's going to clarify as to what a oh, week what looks minor like. Minor events during the week she'd yep. like. And, so uh, if you want to have a weekly 
goat yoga, like that, you know, that, and then what are you really looking at for other events in a typical week? Because right now you've got one a day, and that's right. two. Yeah. Tell you right so now, that's not going to fly. We haven't yeah. been doing anything right. like that at all. Like it, even the yoga has been. It, we only did it a couple of times, and then this happened to Young Jackson. So the <coughs> yoga, you know, probably only be a couple of times a month because that's the public can do it. You know, like that yeah, kind of your monthly stuff. calendar and yeah. start filling it in. So we have something to look at, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, the cutting flowers. That's part of agriculture, so that's fine. Like that, I don't have to put that on there as a special event. Only if I. Some things are covered by farming. Yeah. So. Correct. Is that covered, or is that still an event? Yeah, or? I mean, so you're cutting flowers and selling them out front? That's people part of farming. Are come, people are coming. And but they cut your own. But they cut your own. No, that's 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 like strawberries. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, so that's you know. Cool. Yeah. But we're limiting this to hours, two-hour event, three-hour event. Yeah, but, yeah, the, the but events, the cutting flowers is that's different. agricultural. It's yeah. different. It falls outside of our purview, really. Yeah. For a farm. You know, picking. So they're open all day. People can go and cut what, flowers. Whatever their hours are. For that. Okay. Okay. Entertain a motion to continue this to our next um, no, meeting. We're continuing which is to the 6th, 30 and the 30th, are we not? Well, that's this. That's not on it. Well, do I continue? Yeah, to, to, to a, a field walk on the uh, 30th at 6 30 and continue the public hearing at the next regular scheduled meeting. September 13th. So moved. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Okay. We will see you next Tuesday. What did you say, public hearing, September 13th. Yes. Yes. Planning and zoning is the second and fourth right. yep. Tuesday of the month. Thank you. Okay. We have a call. Uh, as soon as I find it. The East Side on Planning and Zoning Commission will hold a public hearing on August 23rd, 2022 at 8 p.m. at the Municipal Office Complex. Meeting room one and two, One Plains Road, Moodus, Connecticut, to hear the following. Uh, C3 Plains Road Commercial Area, text amendment to include restaurant in section 9.6.1.2. You may access the YouTube live link from the town's website, www.easthaddam.org. At this hearing, interested, party, interested persons shall be heard and a correspondence received. Questions or comments about the application may be emailed to jventress at eastadam.org during the hearing. We didn't ask if there I, was I, any. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> you didn't get any emails, did you? Oh, no, we did not get any emails. Okay. Just a, yes. A short one? Oh, sorry. The one word, and I put the C3 on a map so you could see. That it stretches all the way down to some of the old Cumberland Farms. Um, it's, so it's Plains Road and then a section all the way down to Cumberland Farms. I make a motion we accept. <laughs> now, isn't it weird how C3 only covers one side of, I, I, I'm so used to calling it Main Street, the old Main Street, and not the other side. And the other side was is the is commercial. The is the industrial, okay. C, you know, Moodus commercial. So C3 has a little bit more to architecture, yeah. and it has a little less variety of uses under the table of uses. Um, but we already allow bed and breakfast and country inn, and a country inn is an accessory thing, could have up to 30 seats for restaurant uses if it wanted to. So, you know, but if anybody comes in and wants to do it, they still, number one, have to deal with septic. Yep. To deal with parking, you know, mm -hmm. things. So, those are you know, those are the typical hurdles that you do when you do a yeah, food service business. That property line, that or something of, of the property we're talking about, it's kicked out into the. Is that a guy that jogs like that? Actually? Where is that? Right here. Jogs right, right out. Like yeah, it, it actually, all in line, they're that. all in line, and I went to that map because I said, what's going on here? And Ron filed the map, shows it exactly as that. And I don't know how, but that map was filed back in the 80s. You're, you're correct. Well, it looks, it's not like they needed any more room there, but at the no. same time, it's just, it's everyone else is on a dead straight line. So yeah, no, and it was filed by a licensed surveyor. Now the, the, the think about it though, Jim. Because well, it extends over the sidewalk. So it does over the sidewalk, Jeez. 
And nobody else has done a map up and down that road, though. Nobody else what? The only one that's got a map. The next map down the road is the library. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, they don't have file seat, you know. No, I mean, so I don't know. I don't know if, you know. I'm just curious. I mean, I see this jog. I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of weird things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there certainly are. Questions? Seems pretty simple. So we just have restaurant in our definitions. We don't have coffee shop or. No. No. Uh, I mean, any, any house out there could make, actually, you know. Make a very nice restaurant. Yeah, yeah. You know, for, for. I'll open it to the public. Questions, comments? <laughs> Any comments on email? No emails have been received. So we have to send this off to, we have to have a, no, you can just vote on this, correct? Yeah, because it's not within 500 feet of a, another municipality. Uh, it's. I make a motion we approve the modification to. C3 Plains Road Commercial Area Text Amendment to 9.6.1.2 as presented. Second? I'll second, second that. Yeah. All in favor? All right. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Wow. Hey, we actually did something. Get it over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, if we can't like add a word in one <laughs> night. <laughs> I, I don't know, I should send it out to the lawyer to see if it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> The East Town on Planning and Zoning Commission will hold a public hearing on August 23, 2022 at 8 p.m. at the Municipal Office Complex, meeting room 1 and 2, 1 Plains Road, Moodus, Connecticut, to hear the following. Annual review of the 2019 Plan of Conservation and Development and review of affordable housing plan. A, hazard mitigation, and B, climate resilience. Yeah, you may yeah. access the YouTube live link from yeah, the town's yeah, website, www.easthaddam.org. At this hearing, interested persons oh, no. shall be heard and correspondence received. Yeah, Questions see. or comments about the application may be emailed to jventress at eastpetum.org during the hearing. All right. I know I handed it out to you last time, but this was uh, what you're supposed to read. It was kind of the changes that yep. the Conservation Commission sent. Then I added some modifications in blue. They agreed to that in an email back to us to accept those modifications and amendments. Did you send this out to Matt to look over? No, no, because it's a it's a it's a it's not a regulation. It's a plan of conservation development, so it's a guidance document. So now we do we usually do our review for a plan of conservation development in February. February second <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Well, we've been continuing this one for. Months. Well, it got yeah. a late start. And late start. Yeah. Too. We can get back on track. Okay. But, yeah. The thing is, we never hear from anybody. So we never hear from anybody. <laughs> so, yeah. The conservation commission used is to from on EDC, the move. but that was about it. I'm surprised EDC is not here tonight. And the only comments I had was was from Susan Kinsman because she said she wasn't going to be able to make the meeting, but she agreed with the modifications as presented. Okay, I'm okay with it. Yep. I know you are. Oh yeah. No, I mean you, you watch the TV and see these uh, <laughs> uh, uh, weather events that are taking place and. I mean, well, the world changes. Absolutely. Organism. You've never seen East Adam underwater yet, have you? <laughs> Not yet, but. Oh, I have. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't pretty. Is <laughs> oh, God. Man. I can remember, you know, the house right behind the cellar there? That house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, down there. I've seen a boat go right up to the front door. Really? Okay. 82? In the 50s. In the 50s? Yeah. Mm. Before. 55. The climate was. Is that a rain event? Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's they. Flooding. Like, no, I mean, uh, the, did the river swell, or is oh, that yeah, just? No, I, I mean, the entire airport. Or something I think what we're thinking entire. about, what we're worried about, is these downpours, ten inches, twelve inches of rain. Yeah. I mean, Dallas got twelve inches of rain in eleven hours, and hmm? and I mean, if we have an event like that, 
Well, I mean, we've, we've seen it's flood. Worse, worse than anything we've seen around here. I haven't seen anything around here in a while. Well, but. after the 55, though, which yeah. helped us, up Vermont, New Hampshire, all on the Connecticut River, they, change their policy. they have huge stormwater control. And there's one in Vermont I went to, and you climb up this thing, and it's like 400 feet tall, and you get to the top of it, and there's a little stream. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, so you go over and you read this thing, and I'm reading, and it said for flood control after the 55 flood, they put this thing to, you know, do it. Say how big the watershed was? Well, it's, <laughs> well the problem is, is that because they're mountains and it's yeah. all ledge, it just runs off 100%. Right. So right. I'm reading this thing, and I turn around and look, and I go to John, and I go, Johnny, there's no damn way this thing could fill up. He's come over here, take a look at the pictures. In 87, it almost got to there. And then as we're going down this path, there's these little monitors on the side. And Cookie and John live downhill. Mm -hmm. I said, she goes, what are those for? I said, they're seismic. I said, if this thing starts to shake and fall apart and the siren goes off, you're all done. Wow. And then we got to the bottom, and that's exactly what it said. They were seismic monitors. So if it slumps at all, they, 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 they evacuate the town. Because that thing held hundreds of acres of water. Well, you saw 55, that's what you were talking about? Yeah, well, 55, yeah. it seems like, I've seen it twice, where the river flooded so bad that the airport was underwater. Yeah, yeah. 82 and 84, it did it too. Yeah. Both of those yeah. times it did where it. the airport was flooded, because we, uh, we were working mm -hmm. on off of uh, Sid Jones's house, trying to keep water out of the back of his basement. But... The worst one was that one fifty five. I remember because I think uh, one fifty five was a hurricane. They took a boat yeah. right up to the front door. Really? Right to the porch. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Did the water recede and the boat stayed, or were no, they? No, no, it was just a rowboat. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, oh, they were just yeah. getting back, but that's how bad it was. Yeah. I mean, no. it was flooded completely, creamy, completely underwater. Yeah. Okay. Any comment? No, it wasn't. I mean, you look what happened in Kentucky, and you know. All these little towns are sitting on this, this river, and it's just a trickle of a river. It looks like Shady Brook or something, you know. And, yeah. you know, you get 12 inches of rain. There's yeah, nowhere. Again, you know, I mean, it could, it, well, anyway, I, I won't get it. It's one of 82. I mean, things happen around here. Yeah, you know, I know. And, so. and I'm, we're just saying that it could happen here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it has. And it will happen again. And we have to. Now uh, the river is. If we can get grants for uh, the largest... For the Connecticut River. <laughs> Connecticut River is the largest oh, river, river in New England. We can use some of these documents to get grants for infrastructure improvement. And it's a well, we, I mean, look what zoning's done. Zoning's going to all that zero increase stuff. Now, that's all over the state. They've done. That makes a big difference. For all these, you remember we used to run yeah. everything right into the streams direct. Correct. You know, all, the, all these subdivision roads are running their drain. My job is so much easier. <laughs> My job is so much easier. <laughs> it was, right? Hey, job security. Come on. Here. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so do we need to make a motion to accept? Yep. So moved. Do you want to second it? Second. Oh, do you want to make a motion? I'm sorry. <laughs> motion to accept the changes in the uh, the plan of conservation and development related to uh, hazard mitigation. For, and resilience. For the East Adam Conservation. Climate resilience. And climate resilience. Under the Conservation Commission. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. I mean, it's not just our document. It's the town's document. I realize that, but it's being put forth by your... It is. It is. You know, Conservation Commission. So. The first time that we've had... People actually... ...in a long time. Someone just did? No, no, I'm saying to the Conservation Commission, because we... Oh. <laughs> We've, yeah, they're the only ones that got back to us. Yeah, I'd like to get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Nothing on your end, no. Nah, I already covered it. Right, a second. Hold on a second, Tony. I was just going to storm a follow-up on that. We're all set. Yeah. yeah. We had a motion to adjourn. Second. Right, Bernie? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Adjourn. Check. Check. <laughs>